Hey hi, hello guys. I'm Khomis Ran Peculiar and welcome to C++ Code Answers, the platform for all your C++ code problem solutions. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel. Also to click to the notifications button. This is so you get notified of every new upload. Today we are working a selection control structures problem. This is where we work with if else's and switch cases. Our problem for today reads as thus. A bank in your town updates its customer accounts at the end of each month. The bank offers two types of accounts, savings and checking. Every customer must maintain a minimum balance. If a customer's balance falls below the minimum balance, there's a service charge of $10 for savings accounts and $25 for checking accounts. If the balance at the end of the month is at least the minimum balance, the account receives interest as follows. A. Savings accounts receives a 4% interest. B. Checking account with balances of up to $5,000 more than the minimum balance receives a 3% interest. Otherwise, the interest is 5%. Run a program that reads a customer's account number, which is an integer type, the account type, which is a character type, savings will use S and checking will use a C, minimum balance that the account should maintain and the current balance. The program should then output the account number, the account type, the current balance and an appropriate message. Test your program by running it five times using the following data. The data provided below here. Not difficult, right? So what the program should simply do is to calculate the current balance according to the account type of the customer. We are given the interests and the service charges the account receives according to the specifications given. So it should not be difficult to go on about this code, but we're going to work the code together, so no worries. Now let's open our IDE and get coding. IOStream for the input and output functions. Because we'll be working with money, let's have it in two decimal places. So Ayomanip, we won't be doing much here, so that is all the libraries we'll need. But then if we may have missed something and we need a library, we can always come up here to write it using namespace std for those functions and variables with similar names as those in the libraries. Now to our main function. First things first, declare the variables we'll be using in our code. Looking at the problem question. We are told that the program must read the customer's account number, which is an integer type. So we'll declare that. And we are told it must also read the account type, which is a character type. The program must also read the minimum balance. Because it is money, we'll declare it as a double. It has decimal points. And lastly, it must read the current balance from the customer. Looking up at the problem question, we see that there's a service charge on both account types. So let's declare that. And lastly, there's an interest charged on the accounts at given conditions. So let's declare that as well. And that seems to be all the variables we will need for this program. But we can always come declare any up here if we realize that we have not declared them during declaration time now. And what next? The program now starts by reading user input. We see that it must read the customer account number. So, see out. and user input
Then user must input the account type. We are given that user must enter an S for savings and C for checking account. So inform the customer of that information. Then read the customer minimum balance. And lastly, read the current balance. User input. So now we are off to the calculations, given the two account types. Because we have calculations specifically for each account type, let's create a condition for each so that we simply add the condition to the relevant account types. So, create condition for the savings account type. User may have entered the S as caps or small letter. We did not instruct the user on which way to enter the letter. So let's cater for that. If account type is caps S and if small S, Now create condition for the checking account type. User may have entered the C as caps or small letter C. So if account type is caps C, and if small letter C, There. Now calculations. We are told that if the customer's balance falls below the minimum balance, there's a service charge of $10 for the savings account. So this is a charge under the savings account. So let's go to the savings condition. The service charge is equal to 10 meaning the current balance will now be $10 less. So current balance is equals to current balance minus the service charge. And moving on, there's a $25 service charge for checking account. So we place this service charge under the checking account type condition. The service charge is equal to 25. Meaning the current balance will now be $25 less. So current balance is equal to current balance minus the service charge. Okay, now to the problem question. If the balance at the end of the month is at least the minimum balance, the following interests are received. Savings account receives 4% interest. So this condition goes to the savings account conditions. And let's create this condition. If the current balance is greater than or equals to the minimum balance,
The interest received is 4%, which is a decimal point of 0 0.04. Now the current balance is the current balance plus the 4%, which is the current balance multiplied by 4%, the interest. And to the problem question, point B. Taking account with balances of up to $5,000 more than the minimum balance receive a 3% interest. So this falls under the checking account condition. If the current balance is greater than the minimum balance, which excludes it from going to the previous condition. And less than up to 5,000 more meaning up to the addition of 5,000 to the available balance. So, there's an interest received of 3%. So, interest is equals to... And the current balance is the addition of the 3%. And the last statement of point B on the problem question was stating otherwise the interest is 5%. So under the checking account type condition, else the interest is 5%. Now the current balance is the current balance plus the current balance multiplied by the interest of 5%. And that's all of the calculations needed for this problem, meaning we are now off to output. Remember we included a header IOMANIP above, so we can have our output in two decimal places. So let's have it be so. Using fixed and set positions to obtain that. The 2 in set position is for the 2 decimal places. If it were 3, it would mean it's 3 decimal places. The fixed ensures that even if the output is not without decimal places, it will have at least 2 zeros as a decimal point. And let's have a line here so we can view our output nicely. End line. And we are told to output the account number. Then output the account type. Output the current balance. And then finally, output an appropriate message. Let's place a tab so the message is aligned a bit to the right. And our message. Nothing hectic. And there. Close off our main function. System pause. Then return zero. Let's save our code. Compile it, checking for errors. No errors, so we'll build it. Great. Enter account number. Let us do a savings account type first. 
it has two conditions so let's do when the current balance is less than the minimum balance looking at the data below there it is the minimum balance is 1000 and the current balance is 800 it is charged a service fee of ten dollars so we see we're ten dollars less 790 which means our code ran correctly but look at our output here it would be nice if these dots were aligned and you may think that it's difficult to have it be so as we'd have to count the characters so that we ensure they are equal and it aligns but we have a function that can do that for us and lucky like for us, it is in the iomanip header, which we have already included on our code. And the functions we need is set width. What it does is, it says the width of the string that follows the set width statement. To connect the spaces of the number you've set, we will set our width to 20 character spaces. And we'll do that for all these lines. And let's see. Let's do the other condition of the savings account. The savings account has two conditions. It's when the current balance is greater than the minimum balance. Here, the first line data provided on the problem question. The minimum balance is 1000 and the current balance is 2700. And there, the current balance is 2808. See, our data is in two decimal places, two zeros. We received an interest of 4%. 4% 4 of 2700 is 108. So, 2700 plus 108 gave us a current balance of 2808 and that's what we got. Now let's try out the checking account type condition examples. Let's start off when the current balance was less than the minimum balance. And here it is on our problem question data. The minimum balance is 1000 and the current balance is 750 and there we were charged $25, hence the current balance is $25 less. Now let's go try out the other checking account type condition. And here it is. Minimum balance is $2,000, the current balance is $3,000. And there, we received a 3% interest. 3% 3 of 3,000 is 390. Hence, the current balance is 3,090. And it's to two decimal places as well. Now, the last condition of the checking account type. The last else for checking account type. Minimum balance is 1,500. The current balance is 7689, which is more than 5000 the minimum balance. So we sure it won't go on either one of the conditions. There, the current balance. And that's all the conditions. I hope you did follow through. But then nonetheless, you can play the video a couple of times if you're struggling to follow until you eventually get it. And don't hesitate to communicate with me. If you have any problem question that you'd like us to work on, you can also communicate. I love hearing from you on our email address, gg.ntehalang at gmail.com. That's all for me today, guys. See you on our next video.